Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 2. Joining me is Star Princess HLC. Oh, Lantern showing me cute red pandas. And JK Lantern. They have fuzzy feet. I should hope so. They do live in cold climates. Okay, so if we run back through that, it should take Where us to... Where did I go now? Here we go. Is now we all know how Cotton Eye Joe feels. God, I need to show uh, friggin' Swiss Army Man in the server. Does that have something to do with Cotton Eye Joe? The, the song shows up in that movie. Okay, Why? so we found another thing. 271. Yay. Are we winning? I don't you think don't, we are. You don't win, you just do a little better each time. I think you made that plant suffer an indignity. I mean... I was already suffering an indignity. Okay, going down takes me to that section. I don't need to go that way. Seventy one is down here, but I can't get to there from here. Where else is it? Okay. <laughs> I knew how to get there. The joy of teleport mazes where the teleports change where they're going once you use an item. Especially oh. when there's just so much other stuff happening. Yeah. So what you're saying is... We need to blow up this building. Honestly? That, that wouldn't have been a bad solution. Oh hey, they're doing shady shit on their servers. Let's blow up the servers. We just need to find that dude that totally didn't have a bomb in Airplane 2. I mean, we already had the bomb on an airplane scenario. Yeah, but this guy bought it from the gift shop.
Star, Star may have watched Airplane 2 last night. Uh. Lantern, did you? Nope, because we were at separate locations at that time. Yeah, I had to watch my brother at my parents' house. Airplane 2 is definitely not as good as Airplane 1. It's been a very long time since I've seen Airplane 2. Okay, hang on, give me just one second. I got somebody asked me a question over here. Okay, there we go. Just had to answer a question. And hopefully, I have gone to the right place. That sends us back, but now it's fixed, so... Okay, that's right here, at least. That's this one that's malfunctioning over here. Well, I don't get to go right back where I was. Now back on the third floor. Spend a lot of time on the goddamn third floor, I'll say that. That's where they keep the chiefs. Apparently. I mean, we've been in this section before. We have been here before. Fuck you, Red Devil. You are the worst guy. Pretty sure you're a post-game enemy in 3. Gator does a lot of things, but I can't do anything against that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Maybe that'll make us high enough level to get out to run th things. We're now level 69. Nice. nice. After this game, they kind of abandoned the idea of like, oh, you have a level. I this am for... running away from everything, if it lets me. Sensible at this point. Mm -hmm. using that soon. Mm-hmm. Oh, we've still got something that, um... Something that is... broken. We need number 201 now. And we go back to the sections where the real world impacts the internet world, because those at least are funny. Bug frag, what the hell are we- We're not gonna do anything with the bug frags, game! I never or did trade we? any of those in. 
Bye. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going somewhere far away from the Red Devil. Canada? Depending on huh? who you ask, there are Red Devils up in Canada. True. So if we hop back through there, it should take us to... Okay. Okay, I, I think we finally finished this goddamn maze. I, I think you are correct. What do we win? Well, we, we win the uh, location of the elevator program we need to fix. Can we just win, like, a peanut? Well, you see, if we can get through here, we can get to the top. And it will give us many peanuts. Yes. Oh, good! Ah, staple of the Mega Man series, Boss Rush. Boss yep, rush. here, here's the Mega Man Boss Rush. But I do have some slightly good news, if I remember incorrectly. They're gonna fight us all three at once? No. That would at least be fast! I'm pretty sure there are ROM hack versions of this where they do make you fight all three at once. Of course there are. So yeah, they're in their first form. So are they gonna be piss easy? Yeah, I mean, Quick Man's still gonna be obnoxious because he's Quick Man, but... There's a slow man. Not in this game. have to time this. Yeah. Driving. <laughs> Suffered an indignity. Just wait for him to move. That's the only thing I had to do there. Let's see. Oh, my cut, man. I was always weirdly fond of you. I feel bad for him, though. Because he has scissors on his head? Because he got covered with Blood Balloon Man's blood. I don't feel bad for him. <laughs> He's at the end of this goddamn maze and I want to leave it. See, look at that server growing back there. I don't right see out of it the growing. Floor. I do not see it growing. <laughs> it's growing out of the floor! I'm going to refuse to believe it. <laughs> for my own goddamn sanity. <laughs> Pretty sure that can't possibly be healthy. Yes, you see all of the, uh... 
All of those floors correspond to things we fixed. Oh, okay. Um, and basically you can go into those different rooms and jack into things, but it'll just take you to the section you were fucking in that you fixed. Ah, uh, okay. But 30 is where we want to go. I don't think there's going to be much I care about anywhere outside well, of 30. Fucks up with your hair, dude! Oh, this is the hate of gospel. Isn't he so cool and edgy? Did we already break his navy? Arguably. So he's fusing the bugs. He even has black sclera and red irises. You should see a doctor about that. And I mean, his hair is glowing. He reminds me of a thing I can't talk about yet. So, so yeah, that's more than the suit can take. Our invisible radiation suit. All the radiation suits were invisible. Yeah. I kind of assumed it was like he stuck a, like, chip on him and that made the suit. You're, you're holding on this to torture him, aren't you? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm just remembering back when we played Deadpool and there was that scene with Wolverine. Mm. Or when I played Phantasmagoria. Mm. So that was radiation that caused that, was it? It was radiation that caused that, that apparently. That, that wasn't an electrified field, it was radiation. That was a, evidently radiation. Uh huh. Mm hmm. A, a server controlling the radiation. Can't go through the door, so... We have to delete the radiation. This looks like a different place. Mm -hmm. this, this is not where we were. Yep. Why do I think I'm going to regret walking forward? Or any direction around here, really? Fuck you, Reds. What the rats do to you? Rats? I hate rats. See, my my version of that is worms. They drive me crazy. That's the version I learned as a kid. But apparently, the version everyone else learned was rats. But are the rats going to go defeat the yellow god? That's a good question. Can they at least <laughs> beat the king in yellow? <laughs> Which, I mean, it's, it's going to be a very long time until this goes up. So yeah. there was a point, I guess we need to restate that, that you, you tried to stream the end of Sucker for Love. Yep. And, uh, 
the ending is kind of um, uh, how should I, bullshit. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit bullshit there. Just you know, just so we're in agreement there. Yeah. I looked up a guide on how to beat that last stage after after what happened. Mm. Dear freaking god, what the hell were they thinking? None of the guides I looked up were very helpful. Yeah. There was one I ran into that said, okay, here's... It just went into detail about what each one was to first start out with, and then mm. gives you the exact list of actions you need to do whenever one of them pops up. Mm. And it was still... Because apparently some of those curses came in pairs. Yeah. Yeah. And they always come in pairs. And then there was the one with the Grim Reaper closing in on you, which only happens once. But the secret mm. to that is to just have the turtle on you. Mm. And then it goes away. So Dave, it was actually a, a use. Go figure. Yeah, I'll have to do something after all that time. So apparently that one power-up was all we needed just to start being able to not have to fight every goddamn thing here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Your. It's funny that the Yorts are showing up kind of endgamey here, because as I recall, they're pretty early in Battle Network 3. Dang it, I wanted to save. I saw that and wanted to say, well, there's a really good reason I wanted to save now in there. Freeze Man is still an indignity in and of itself. I'm not going to say what it looks like is attached to him. And I thought you were going to think that Nightman was the coolest design in this game, Sarad. Oh hell no! <laughs> that is a belt. That is a pot belly stove. Still not as bad as Woodman, though. So, just out of curiosity, what would make you think that I would think that that's the cool design? It's big. It has heavy armor. It's got the big fuck off mace. This is not Battletech. Don't you mean a hammer? <laughs> it's a dumb hammer! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can just launch away at you. Launch octopus? If I had, Launch there's probably an octopus in that mess somewhere. And I think you were just wait until you unthawed yourself. Like, we shot you with the buster a couple of times and that did it, I think. Damn it, game. Ice Tower. All the gate man. Yep. Dang it. Ice is not helping. Oh, my mini me's. Go! 
had to solve the ice slider puzzle. Land suffering from... So we shot the radiation. We, we shot the radiation. And even though the radiation level continues to rise, that will let us get into the next room. Yay? So that's basically the game's way of telling you that the next thing is going to be the final boss stuff. Okay. So before we jump into that, I, I'm saying we take a break. Mm -hmm. And when we come back... We, we will uh, see if Land dies. It I mean, it looks like he should be dying right about now. He should be having cancer, like, now. Yeah, he, his body should be riddled with goddamn tumors right about now. Yep. But that's for next time. So until mm -hmm. then, take care, everyone. Later. Bye-bye,